Hello, my name is Daniel Austin, and I would like to talk to you about small business poning. As my uh, poorly drawn friend here implies, you can also own it your job if you follow the next few steps. The first step to small business poning is making a name for yourself. Since I started a business of scraping dead animal carcasses off the side of the road, I named myself CSI. Carcass Scraping Incorporated. Although, sometimes I get calls from forensics teams asking me to inspect human bodies. I'd rather not talk about it. Step number two, make an entrance. Making an entrance is a good icebreaker and a very good way for the customer to remember who you are. Now after all the pleasantries and you introduce yourself, make sure to make an impression so the customer, even after your entrance, still remembers you. The whole experience is very unique. Have a specific tick that makes you different than everyone else that she's ever encountered. My specific tick was a little unorthodox, but it worked. I'm from Carcass. I'm from Carcass Scraping Incorporated. Yeah, I have a squirrel problem. He's still running around outside. Yeah, that cough got me in trouble a few times before. Like my last job as a ninja. <laughs> Hey, hey, buddy. Um, could you could you hand me that sword, please? No, that would be the, uh, closer, closer. Yeah, thank you. Um, do you know if your dad's gonna be around in uh, sometime soon? Uh, five f five minutes. Um, yeah, maybe it's for the best if you don't come around here for the next five to t to ten. You know, just go for a little walk. Nice long. Walk. Okay. That's for the best. <laughs> after everything's done, after you made your entrance, after you made your impression, it's always best to let the customer know that you know what you're doing. So simply, brag. Basically what we have right here is my bag of goodies. All right, first off, what we got is a pair of handcuffs. Handcuffs? Are you gonna arrest the squirrel? Latex gloves. After your impression is firmly rooted into the customer's mind, it's time to come through. It's time to deliver results. And the one and only weapon I need, a shovel. <laughs> I don't know about this guy. He seems pretty shady. Oh. All right, after everything else, after everything you put the customer through, it's best to end strong. Leave them wanting more. Again, I have an unorthodox way of getting them to remember me and ultimately wanting more. We have a problem. There's one, more than one squirrel and they're collectively dragging dogs down in this series of tunnels. You know what? You have your 20 bucks back. No, 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 I'll get no, back no, 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 you promise. <laughs> you promise you come back here. You come back here now. And as always, thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe or like us on Facebook at Knocking Narcolepsy Productions. Thanks very much.